In this video, we got a couple problems dealing with exponential decay. So in the first one, a population decays at a continuous rate of 10% per hour. Now we need to pay attention to that. And it starts out with 1,000 bacteria. So that's enough information for us to build our model. Our initial is 100,000. And now because it's a continuous rate, we're going to use the form e to the kt, so negative 0.1t. So, we, and this is all because it has a continuous rate. So, in solving, we're going to have 100,000 e to the negative 0.1 times 24 because t was measured in hours because our rate was given in hours. If that rate had been given in days, we would just be putting 1 in for our input. So, we can go ahead and calculate by putting in 100,000 times second e, negative 0.1 times 24, and we get 9,071.79 bacteria, or about 9,072. In the second one, a population of bacteria is measured to be at 1,000 after 10 minutes since it appeared, and 25 minutes after it appeared is measured to be 10,000. So how many would there be after 50 minutes? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use the other form of an exponential model in this case. We can use either. They'll give us the same answer. Um, we're going to use this form and set an exponential function up for each situation. So I know that there's going to be 10,000 bacteria when the time is equal to 25 minutes. So I'm just going to do this problem in minutes. I know that <coughs> There will be a thousand bacteria after 10 minutes. And so what we can do is we can s divide both equations to get what B is. Because we're basically using elimination because the A's will eliminate. 10,000 divided by a thousand gives us 10 equals. And now, because these both have the same base, we can use property of exponents, which says this reduces down to B to the 15th. Now remember, you don't need logs here. We're actually going to raise both sides to the 1 15th to solve for b. Because an exponent to another exponent, we multiply those cancel. We get b is 10 to the 1 15th. So when I build my model, I'm going to do something kind of interesting. <clears throat> Instead of trying to find out how many bacteria there are when 0 minutes had passed, I'm going to use 1,000 as my initial. And I know my b is... 10 to the 1 15th t or I can actually simplify this a little bit and write this as 10 is a thousand times 10 to the t over 15 now here because of how I built my model t is the number of minutes after 10 minutes it's one thing we have to be careful of so to find out how many bacteria there are after 50 minutes what I'm going to do is I'm going to use t. <clears throat> Again, t is the number of minutes after 10 minutes. So 50 minutes would be a t value of 40. So this is how we're going to have to put this in our calculator. So we have 1,000 times 10 raised to the... Now we do need to put the exponent in parentheses. 40 divided by 15, and we see that we get about 464,000 bacteria after 50 minutes. So we can set up the model a little bit easier by using 1,000 as our initial, but we have to compensate that when we do our input. 